Hello guys, uh, we will see together how to install uh, Odo 13 on Ubuntu 80.04 uh, So let's start Odo has been released uh, today on uh, 2 October So this is uh, all of the uh, command, uh, you will find it Let's copy and uh, open terminal So first uh, we must uh, update and uh, upgrade So let's paste So sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade and waiting and yes to continue after this operation uh, 500 megabyte will be uh, will be used on your disk and uh, it start to running the upgrade please wait okay after uh, the upgrade uh, let's continue so let's uh, copy the next command uh, this is to install git python 3 pip and uh, some dependency needed so let's copy and uh, paste enter and yes to continue Okay, then uh, let's uh, create a new user. I will call it Odo13. So let's copy this. And the uh, creation of user successful. And then we will install uh, Postgres SQL. So sudo so apt install uh, Postgres SQL and yes to continue. Okay, installation uh, finish uh, for Postgres. Let's uh, create new user on Postgres. Call it the Odo13. And then uh, install wqhtml to PDF. Download the start. So this is to download the wqhtml.debian and then we will install it. Let's paste. So do apt install wqhtml. Yes to continue. And now uh, let's install Odo 13. So let's uh, let's uh, switch to Odo 13 user. So we see that I am with Odo13 user and then let's uh, clone uh, Odo13 from uh, the official uh, branch of uh, Odo in GitHub and let's paste. So cloning into slash obt slash Odo13 uh, slash Odo, waiting uh, please. So we had just uh, changed user from active user to Odo13, the user which we had created on the beginning of the uh, tutorial. Okay, uh, the download has finished, I mean the clone. So let's uh, continue. Let's uh, go inside the uh, opt slash Odo13. And then we will create uh, the virtual environment for Python. So let's copy, we can clear uh, this and now we will create the python3 virtual environment and let's activate uh, with uh, this command. Here we, we see that uh, the user has uh, had add uh, here uh, the virtual environment and then let's uh, Copy this and now pip3 install requirement. This is the requirement for Odo 13, I mean uh, the dependency for Python 3. 
which Udo need okay installation is finished let's now deactivate uh, the virtual environment and we back to user Udo 13 and now let's create a new repository for uh, extra add-ons and uh, exit uh, user uh, Udo 13 and now we back to normal user and now uh, we will uh, we will uh, create uh, the auto account so we will just take a copy from uh, the standard auto and then let's edit so we will uh, copy this and delete uh, all of uh, this And let's uh, paste and uh, control plus X to exit and uh, yes to save changement so this is uh, the db4 we don't need the uh, db user auto 13 and uh, this is for add-ons path for auto 13 and this is for extra add-ons and now we will uh, make uh, auto run as service so let's uh, copy this and we will uh, copy this line copy and uh, paste so service uh, description auto 13 uh, the user auto 13 uh, group auto 13 exec start uh, this is for virtual environment which we had uh, configured and this is for auto 13 and this is for auto 13.com and uh, Ctrl X and yes to save and now let's uh, copy this we will uh, run the service now diamond re reload now our system CTL start auto 13 status to check the status for the service auto 13 is running now and this is to enable Udo 13 okay created same link and let's check the status okay we well let's uh, open browser now and log into Udo on this port so local host plus uh, the power of Odo so this is uh, Odo okay master password it asked me because uh, because I had the set master password let's uh, change it so I will uh, I will stop the service and then uh, go inside etc and we will uh, edit uh, the configuration admin password i don't need or we can just uh, take a copy of this but uh, now i don't need so i will uh, exit And let's uh, restart uh, the service now. Start. So uh, let's uh, check if it uh, work correct. Status. Okay. And then we will reload and the master password uh, must uh, be removed. Okay. Database name. Test or for example. Okay. Let's put test. E email admin and uh, password and this is the password 
country language phone number we can skip and uh, create database waiting for the creation of a database you can also install uh, Udo by script shell but uh, this is uh, the full details and uh, the full step so uh, this is Udo 13 uh, we can for example uh, check uh, the application uh, the model of leave uh, in Udo 12 was uh, named uh, leaves uh, but now we can't see it it is replaced uh, with a new name uh, time off so this is uh, the time off added to that now we can uh, see that uh, uh, this export to excel uh, was added on Udo 13 this is a two and uh, what else we can uh, install uh, the website or any model let's for example install a uh, contact so this is uh, the new export to excel on Odo 13 you can now export your data and this is for example we had installed the model contact this is uh, the contact and this is the export to excel export all data of a rest partner Uh, this is uh, the sitting and uh, this is is how to answer uh, Odo 13 uh, thank you for watching uh, and please uh, we need your subscribe and comment see you on the next tutorial goodbye